be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be going over some drum plugins that you can use for Logic Pro 10. Best of all, um, these are gonna be free plugins that come right with Logic, okay? So if you're brand new to Logic, let me just show you where several different plugins are that you can start using to make some banging drum beats okay now first things first basically if you're brand new um we're going to start off with a software instrument track so this is how we create a brand new track we're going to software instrument and under instrument you're going to see that you have a lot of different options here now uh first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is this drum kit designer so we'll just go ahead and go right here it's under instruments about first one down second one down we'll go ahead and push create now this is the drum kit designer it's basically it has like a lot of um, natural sounding sounds I'm gonna go ahead and open up my musical typing by pushing command K and then we can kind of play some of these instruments So anyway, you can play these different instruments and the cool thing about it is you can click on certain instruments. So for instance, this is a kick. I can come over here and I can tune it. We can do to different types of kicks. a snare but anyway it's probably easier to go ahead and do this when I'm actually using a MIDI keyboard because I can come over here and actually play all the way over here. But you get the basis of this is that you have these live drum sounds that you come over here and choose different options for each sound and tune it and, you know, make adjustments for that. And then the cool thing is you can actually come over here and save as so like say after you have made your adjustments. You could call this the uh, BMB kit, you know what I mean? And then whenever you want to pull up the kit, you know, that has all of your specifications to it, you could just come over here and it's going to literally be found right there, okay? Or you can load it and then look for it there. There's other things you can look at if you drop that down and also helps out with uh, certain instruments. You could just do some quick things, turning up the gain and stuff like that. So that's going to be one plug-in. It's pretty dope. Most producers don't use it, uh, especially if you just get it started with Logic Pro 10. Let's go ahead and go with another uh, software instrument here. Uh, and then under instrument, we're going to now go to drum synth. Okay. It's really the next one down. And drum synth is pretty dope. It's going to allow you to create your own drum sounds and, um, probably really good for like low-end sounds 808 stuff like that but let me go ahead and push uh, musical typing again and you're gonna see where I'm coming from so that's our kick right this could easily be turned into other things So you have to play around with the sounds. It actually sounds like a decent kick. You can go from mono to poly to gate.
And just like on the other plugin, you can come over here and save as. So say if I really like this kit, I can call it a BNB kit, a kick, excuse me. And there you have it. I can pull this kick up anytime I want. Now, um, they have other uh, instruments you can, you know, go in here and change up and as well. Let's stick with the kicks for a second and just show you, like if you hold an option, click on any of these, it's gonna take it back to um, the nominal gain. So like with the K, it can like basically extend the sound out and then this is kind of how you start creating your 808s. That saturation will add a little bit of flavor to it. Again, I can come over here and save this as. So I'll save as and we'll do, I'll say BNB 808. And now, anytime I want to pull that up, I can just come right under here and we got them ready to go. So that's a kick. And then I got my 808. That sounds pretty nice. Now you can also come over here and do snares, claps, percussions, hi-hats, all that type of stuff. You know, come over here and save this. I wouldn't necessarily call that a snare, but we can call it like I don't know. We'll call it a, we'll just say dirty sneer or something. But you get the point. You can pretty much come over here and design your own drum sounds and then pull them back up. And use that. Now that's a pretty dope um, option. We have some more options as far as drum sounds as well. Let's just keep on going. If you keep on scrolling down actually to the quick sampler, one of my favorite um, plugins or VSTs for Logic Pro 10. Basically, this is the quick sampler. It doesn't come with any sounds, but you can drag and drop sounds from anywhere um, you know, on your computer, you know, third-party sounds, different things like that. So I really like it for that. Um, for instance, our uh, we have this drum kit called Rap Lords Drum Kit. Okay, this is the Rap Lords Drum Kit. You can get any type of drum kit anywhere, but this is the Rap Lords Drum Kit. Say I want to use some of these sounds. Um, let's see here. Let's grab um, this hat roll. So I just drag and drop it in here, and then I can play it. play it there you know what I'm saying uh, let's just drag and drop something else over here And then the cool thing with the sampler is you can um, same difference you can come over here do save as and let's just say BNB clap. Now, anytime I want to bring that up, it's going to be listed down here. You could also load it there, but we have BNB clap right here. We can pull that up whenever we want to. Um, another cool thing you could do with the sampler, um, say with your Apple loops, you can come over here, go to your instruments, you go like, you know, all drums come over here maybe let's do either urban or hip-hop and just say you find a drum sound that you like or a drum loop you like all right you can drag and drop this in here to optimize and what it's going to do is it's going to get all the uh transient points here turn it on slice 
and hold down option and you can scroll over here and you can actually see all of the different chops here cool thing everything is laid out on the piano you can see the c1 c uh c sharp d d sharp so you can make it go all the way throughout the piano either on a chromatic basis which is all of the keys the black and white keys or you can just do white keys or you can just do black keys so i'm gonna put it back on chromatic and put the musical typing on you'll see what i'm saying Great way to, you know, use some drums in Logic Pro 10 and get, you know, a lot of cool stuff going. Also, you got filters, different things you can do to make the drum sound sound different. This is without the filter. With the filter. So you could do a cool, a lot of cool things just with what we already have here in Logic Pro 10. Go ahead and delete that. Okay, and this multi-sampler is somewhat the same type of deal here, but I'm not gonna go into it just because it's more so for you laying out uh, a whole bunch of drum sounds. I will briefly just show you what it looks like but um, you can go over here to mapping and then like individual sounds. Just like say when I put it up that uh, Rap Lords kit that you can get off of beatmakingbasis.com. You can come over here and start like mapping it out, putting it on each little instrument sound. And then just keep on dragging and dropping it over here. Same difference, save as, and then you can pull stuff up. So I got this boom kit we can pull up. And as you can see, I already have stuff mapped on there. So, real cool deal here. Um, let me see here. I got one other thing that I wanted to talk about. So this ultra beat drum machine is pretty dope as well. Um, this is what it looks like. You pretty much can access it again, like just creating a new track under instrument. You just scroll all the way down right there. But um, anyway, this is the this is the drum synth here. You can go ahead and push command K. You see all the drum sounds down here. You can come up here and then actually they have all these different sound banks different you know stuff so we got a 808 and the cool thing is you can um come over here and edit each one of the sounds so like say this rim shot i can come over here and you know start generating certain sounds for that might not want to do that part but you get what i'm saying you come over here and mess with those and you can also save as you can load and drop sounds in here as well um just over in this area drag and drop a sound drag and drop a sound and keep on going up the list and until you can save your own drum sounds and stuff like that here which is pretty dope okay All right, y'all. So another thing I want to talk about is the drum kit designer. Basically, if you start off with a software instrument track and then scroll, scroll over here to instrument, click um, empty channel strip. Um, this is going to pull up. Make sure that you have your inspector window open and you can go to instrument right here and scroll down till you see drum machine designer. All right. And this is your drum machine designer. As you can see, there's nothing in here. But if you scroll over here, 
there's a lot of different kits that you can pull up so like you know they got these this crate digger kit and it should pull up all these different instruments you can come in here and actually affect the way it sounds so so like for that i can come over here and add some more compression So you can come in there and do a lot of cool things. I think this is a pretty cool deal um, as far as just being able to bring up lots of different drum sounds. Like here we got this Onyx Club. Lots of stuff. And again, the cool thing about this is that you can come over here and adjust the actual sound. So that's a cool thing. Um, just wanted to show y'all that. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Um, also, make sure you head over to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. If you need any extra help, any more um, quality and premium stuff, man, I got a lot of premium courses, sound kits, mixing templates, and then other services for you. And um, if anything else, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got hundreds of videos you can watch for free. And then also make sure that you leave comments and hit the like button and share the video, share the content, all that fun stuff, man. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.